Here's why some cities are banning new gas stoves, even when they're off, gas leaks out of them. In fact, a study found that of the 2.6 million tons of methane that gas stoves emit each year, more than 75% is released when they're turned off. While this is still relatively small compared to other sources of methane, and even other sources of methane within the home, the methane emissions from the stoves have about the same annual effect on the environment as the carbon dioxide from half a million gas cars. That study I mentioned earlier, which looked at 53 residences in California, also tracked the presence of nitrogen oxides, which are byproducts of burning natural gas. They found that without ventilation running, it only takes a few minutes for nitrogen oxides to surpass health standards for outside air. Findings from a 2013 meta-analysis suggested that kids are 42% more likely to experience symptoms associated with asthma, and 24% more likely to be diagnosed with lifetime asthma if they live in a home with a gas stove. Cities around the U.S. are already trying to cut back on natural gas use within homes. New York City has implemented a ban on natural gas hookups for new buildings, and Seattle has banned using natural gas for heating in new buildings. Do you use a gas stove? Increasing the ventilation in your kitchen by using a range hood if you have one, unlike me, or opening a window or running an exhaust fan through the nearest bathroom could lower your risk of being affected.